podemos ser felices toda vida si nos dejan buscar. Good. Yikes, Kate right? the Castillo <laughs> joining us now. That oh. is heart pounding. I mean, that's every parent's nightmare. Uh, of course, can you imagine? I mean, I, I have no kids, but uh, the only, you know, for me as an actress, that to go there, it's very hard. And the mm. whole, the whole uh, series is like, I'm separated from my, from my kids, so I just can't imagine how hard could that be. What's crazy is the last season, I mean, it was eight years ago. Yes. And, and fans have been clamoring for this. Why, there was, why was there such a, a, a delay in between? I don't, I mean, uh, be, because it was based on a novel of Arturo Pérez Reverte. Mm. He's a Spaniard uh, author, but it was only one book. So I was like, why do we have to do another one, a second part, if it's already good, like how it is? And they do have writers who could write another story. I, I know, but for me it was like, why? I mean, it's already g g great. Let's just leave it like that. Ah. So then it was eight years between my availability, between to convince me and convince the author, because I was like, without the author, I, would, I really wouldn't like to do it. Mm -hmm. So after eight years, they convinced both of us, and now and now we're here. <laughs> so the author, sorry, go ahead. The author came back on so that the characters were true to themselves. Yes, and he, came and back he, on the he, he wrote the actual, uh, the structure of the story, the whole structure of the mm -hmm. story. And then the adapter, uh, Roberto Stopelo, who adapted the first one, uh, was working with him. So he's, he's behind the whole series, mm -hmm. which is good. So really quickly, just give us a quick preview of, of, the, of season two, what people can expect, oh. without giving it away. Um, just, just watching it, I'm, I'm, I'm tired already. I, yeah. <laughs> I, there's so much action, you have not, different from the first one. We were another company also. Telemundo eight years ago was different. So uh, we didn't have the money, money to, to do <laughs> a big, a big, big series as we are now. Now you can see, this, I mean, the quality of production is completely different. And the story is really, really good. And now she's coming back. She's been uh, in a different place in Italy for eight years, being a mom. Uh, you know, a regular, but she knows that, that the past is going to come and slap her on the face at any time. Mm -hmm. So she's training her, her kid, her daughter, to be ready for that moment. Wow. And that moment comes. So it, it's crazy. We went to eight different countries. Wow. We were everywhere. We were it's Russia, exhausting. Spain, Italy, Italy, Romania, Mexico, United States, Belize. Wow. Everywhere. Whew. Yes. Man, you need, <laughs> uh, wow. you need another eight years to just rest up from that. <laughs> uh, yes. Let's switch gears. 2015, uh, you, you made headlines. You and the actor Sean Penn uh, secretly met with uh, the Mexican drug lord, El Chapo. Uh, he was still on the run. You were hoping maybe you would do a film on his life. Uh, and that caused, that caused a lot of controversy. Uh, uh, then, of course, he was recently convicted on all the charges. Did you, did you follow the trial? I, I, I did. N not as much as I could because I was working. But yes, I did. Um, but, you know, that's a still ongoing. We haven't finished. And, uh, and well... Uh, would you still like to do a film about his life? Right now, I'm, I'm a little fed up with the whole thing. To yeah. be honest, I'm trying to put my pieces back together because it was, it was, it was brutal for me and for mm -hmm. my family for a couple of, of years and that I, I didn't work, I couldn't do a lot of things. And because of that? Because of that, yes. Which was a decision I, I made. The thing is that uh, the things just like, uh, you know, uh, some... I assume my responsibility of going down there because I wanted... I'm a storyteller and I wanted yeah. to, to tell the story. As a Mexican, I'm, I'm interested in that story. Um, but, well, things get out of hand, or at least from my hands, and, uh, and then I couldn't do anything, just wait and then try to defend myself. But, you know, life is good, so the investigation, they investigated me everywhere. They did, I mean, they said terrible things about me. It was, it was a horrible time, to be honest. But um, I was just quiet, and the truth was on my side, so I will always go back to sleep uh, in peace. Mm -hmm. But you say you have no regrets. I have no regrets. No regrets. It was an experience that I will keep in my heart forever. It was crazy. Were you terrified in the moment? I'm sitting here thinking, you know, you've got El Chapo, who's everybody's talking about him, right? He's on the run, and then you go meet him. Was it a terrifying experience? Was it? I just can't even imagine. What it was. was like. It was. It was terrifying. It was terrifying because I didn't know what, you know, what he was like. What, what was he planning on doing? And how was he? 
Um, uh, no, he was he was such a nice guy with me. He was very very nice. And you know, I was with these other three guys who actually <laughs> didn't get any charges at all, mm. or investigated or nothing. But um, but you know, it was so. It was me, and I was coming with them. And I was I was not gonna go up by myself. I wanted okay. him to know that I was for real. That I got. Uh, two great, you know, producers, uh, Hollywood producers, and then this major actor. So for me, it was like, okay, great, this is good for me, and he's gonna. And he was. I mean, we were all there because because he trusted me. Mm -hmm. And um, and then, well, um, wow. yeah, you know, <laughs> sorry. You should watch the the. I have the documentary on Netflix. It's called uh, oh. The Day I Met El Chapo. It's oh. actually really oh, really good. It's made a lot of. Yeah, numbers. And the great news is you've come out on the other side, and now you've got this great piece of work Thank that God. everybody can see. Yes. Season two of La Reina del Sur premiering next Monday, April 22nd on Telemundo. Thanks so much. Thank for you me. so Thank much. Appreciate Thank that. you.